How you folks? Welcome back to the channel. It's another big hunt. This time we're looking for the best fish and chips. Look who's here. I'm hungry. Let's get tucked <laughs> in. Let's go. Right, and you just give me a quick reach around. Are you alright, Chops? You're getting a bit cold. Woo! Like a couple of old men. <laughs> oh, no. I'm kidding. Diet Pepsi, mate. That's why. Really? Oh, you gotta watch the course calories. Oh, People trying to sleep around here. They've been on night shifts. That's what more than those do. What are we thinking? You can, as soon as we got there, I could smell it. I'm yeah, I think. so hungry. <laughs> that smell is driving me nuts. I think that's eight and a half for the fish. God, just hard getting anything out of you, isn't it? <laughs> what the Scots are supposed to be tight. <laughs> Interesting fact about Hartley Pool. Oh, go on. They hung a monkey here. This is seriously really, really close on your mouth. You love the close-ups of my mouth. What is it? <laughs> That's for Chops' his private collection. <laughs> Hartlepool. What are we doing in Hartlepool, Bruce? Eh? This is your idea. You said fish and chips up in the northeast. Northeast fish and chips on two MVs. Two big buggers. Two big hunts. On MVs. We have just ridden up from the south. And I've got to be honest with you, I am in bits. Bruce is, it's normally me who's got the dodgy ass. it's Bruce today, he's struggling. I was almost smug thinking, oh, oh Chops, he's going to be in tatters. It's me. <laughs> I'm in bits. Let's go. So. You've got to hear this thing, this thing sounds incredible. If we can actually get out of here. Oh, there we go, right. Well, Close no. to the red one. Listen to this. <laughs> so we have, folks, we've got a couple of MV Augustus. Now I am on the Brutale 800 RR and Chops is on the Brutale 1000 RS. All courtesy of Wheels Motorcycles, we should add, Bruce. Courtesy of Wheels Motorcycles, yes. And uh, we are going to be screaming, right? Sorry, riding responsibly around the northeast in search of the best fish and chips. Thanks to you lot for leaving all your comments on socials, recommending places. We've got the top five, and that's where we're off. We're going to start at Verils in Hartlepool. See you there. We should add, Bruce, we've actually been on the road since six o'clock this morning, yeah. and it's now half past 12. <laughs> getting up here so we've just spent three and a half hour four hours on the motorway on these it was bitter wasn't it it was so cold <laughs> quick shift and blipper is beautiful it's gorgeous really aren't they it's, it's the same on this here it's so sporty so direct isn't it and it just sounds so good We've got to do this one in style, Bruce. I mean, we were criticised last time, you know, the BMW's GS. It was a bit too easy, wasn't it? We had to <laughs> up the ante on this one. Well, we certainly have. I was saying, what are we going to do for the next one? Unicycle. <laughs> Unicycles <John>. without saddles. <laughs> yeah. John, you'd love that. We will have a good old swap around in a minute, but I'm actually loving the Brutale 1000. I've, I've ridden the RR version. You've ridden the RR version, Bruce. Plus yeah, you've ridden have, the yeah. Rush. The Rush version as well, haven't you, Lucky Devil? Oh. This is the RS, which is the more affordable version at a measly 22,000. <laughs> Instead of the normal, what was it, 27? 20, 27 for the RR and 30 something <laughs> for the Rush. Are they like that? 37 or 38. 37. Rush, yeah. At 22, it's sort of getting affordable this though. That, that's the thing. And it's that I've quite enjoyed my ride up here just on the motor. I'm looking forward to getting on some twisties. It's like Go talking on. to TMF here, Chops. Affordable, <laughs> 22. Affordable. Grand. And uh, the 22. But I mean, it's like Street Fighter S money's twenty, isn't it? So it's 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 getting to affordable. It's getting to affordable. If you're looking to buy a high end, sort of naked, you know. It's affordable when you use finance. But I think people that buy MV Augustas, it's like if you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it. <laughs> Wheels motorcycles do us a very good finance deals, though. <laughs> are they, the are they a sponsor of your channel? Well, they might be. Yeah, they could be. They could be. <laughs> Folks, anyone new to this channel or anyone who, I don't know, has been living under a rock, if you're not aware who Chops he is, Lamb Chops, Lamb Chop Rides, over on YouTube, make sure you check out his channel 
over there. And the uh, the first episode of our big hunts as well, Bruce. You will find episode one of the big hunts where we went searching Cornwall for the best Cornish pasty. Chops, it is all becoming clear. You it are is. the professional in this hunt, for sure. <laughs> yes, as Chops says, part one of this, the great pasty hunt that sort of started this whole thing, that is over on his channel. So we're going to do a full series of hopefully many, many videos of hunting down the best foods in the UK. But if you've got some ideas, folks, if you've got ideas as to what you'd like to uh, see us do, then please let us know. Keep it relatively clean, obviously, and food and bike orientated. But yeah, let us know and we'll do what we can. So how many chips we've got to go to, Bruce, today? There's, yeah. only, there's, on, there's only five, but I've got five. five fish and chips in a day. Five fish and chips in a day. <laughs> <laughs> we go, we're going large. Are we going large, though? Oh, OK, why not? Yeah. <laughs> the way I've worked this, folks, is that we put, I put a thing, well, we both put things out on social saying recommend the best fish and chips sort of round about the Whitby northeast area. So a lot of people, there's about 200 odd comments. I went through all them as I ended up going with the top five with the most amount of duplicate recommendations. So that's what we've gone for. It's the best way to do it, isn't it? You never know, yeah. you know I know there's the National Fish and Chip Awards, but you never know how many backhanders are going on there, Absolutely. do you? This yeah, is yeah. good, honest, recommended chippies. So yep. I think it's the best approach, actually. We'll do that again in the future. So thank you very much if you did uh, submit your recommendation, folks. Rand a bat. A rand a bat. Oh, it's quite light. This, so, they do handle these. They're so flickable, aren't they? They're, I was just thinking that. This, I think the rip on this is yeah. really sort of... Steep, yeah, right? it, it's like proper lively at the front, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Changes direction. All you got to do is think about changing direction, yeah. does it? No, I don't think you're going to need the drone round here, Bruce. No, <laughs> it's, that's not exactly... <laughs> it's, it's hardly a Cornish fishing port, is it? It's... Uh, <laughs> I think the drone is going to be left in the backpack. <laughs> how come? How come you've got an idyllic Cornish sort of towns <laughs> in the beautiful summer sunshine? You've and got I uh, industrial northeast <laughs> in almost November. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, uh... Well, where we go? It's on the left here, Verrills. Oh, there there it is. <laughs> oh, listen to this thing. It sounds incredible. <laughs> Oh, People trying to sleep around here. Yeah? They've been on night shifts. That's what northerners do. Sorry. <laughs> right, barrels. It's busy. It's popular. It's popular. I can smell it, Bruce. Smell that. No, she's doing mine now. Oh, shit. Thank you. <laughs> smell it. What's them moths? Put your wallet out. <laughs> Can we have a bit of scraps on that as well, please? Could we? So let's have a look at those chippies. What are we thinking? Ooh, it's a size it's a, of that. It's a big old chunk of fish. It's that, a isn't chunk it? of fish. Loads of chips. A bit of scraps in there scraps as well. Scraps in there. You can, as soon as we got there, I could smell it. I could smell the... It smells amazing. It, smell, it doesn't smell like chippies down my way. I'm I think... so hungry. <laughs> that smell is driving me nuts. Okay, what are we going to do? Do a little bit of fish first. A little oh, bit of fish. A little bit soggy. A bit soggy, soggy. in the batter. Quite soggy batter. Chewy. I didn't get any fish. Really? I'll, I'll go this side. I'll try this side. Okay, I've got a bit of fish. Quite, quite moist fish. Yeah, I, I like quite a flaky do fish. Do you think it's fresh or do you think it's frozen? Ooh. Would that mean? Would that make it a little bit soggy? Oh yeah, I guess if it's frozen, I guess if it's frozen, it'll be a little oh. bit soggy, isn't it? Oh. Let's have a let's have a let's have a look at the meat. Oh, it's very soggy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not going to be able to stand it up by its own. What fish is it either? We didn't actually specify what I'm fish it was. I'm assuming it's a cod. Oh, it's going in. What are you mm. thinking, chops? It's a little bit soggy, but it's got a, it's got a nice flavour, isn't it? The chips are lovely. Let's have a chip. Let's go for a chip. A bit of scraps on it. Again, a little bit soggy, but lovely flavour. Great flavour. Very good flavour. We reckon scores. Okay. Scores for the fish, first of all. Out of five. Out of ten. I've got a bit out of ten. I'd give it about a... Hmm. 
six or a seven? Six or a seven. Let's go, let's go seven, but the sogginess really lets it yeah. go. Those are a couple of points for sogginess, isn't it? Yeah. And that's before it's travelled in your bags home or whatever. That's straight out there. What about chips? I think the chips are top. I would give the chips. I'm not going to go nine, I'm going to go eight. Eight out of ten. So, chops, what are we going to rate the fish? Out of ten. It's, it's quite, it's a little bit soggy, isn't it? But. I'm sure it's fresh. Just add a bit of better. Mmm. I'm gonna go an eight. Okay. I'm gonna go an eight. Okay. Chips. It's got a nice golden brown sort of look to the batter, isn't it? If not a little bit. A little bit soggy. Let's try a chip. Chips are very good. A little bit soggy, but I'm gonna go seven on the chips. Seven on the chips? Seven okay, on the okay. chips. Right, the scores for Verols are. Next, we're going to try Fridays, Stockton on Tees. And we've got to get a shift on, because we've got to get there before they shut for the afternoon. Gary, we're coming. This is to zoom in really close on your mouth, are you? Man? You love the close-ups of my mouth, what is it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Yes! Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's for Chops' private collection. <laughs> Shrink oh. that up. Well, that was Verrills. Verrills chippy. Nice. That lard, mate. Oh, you can't beat the lard. It's going you to like a bit of lard. Interfere with your guts later, though, isn't it? I don't know about later, yeah, in the next couple of minutes. Um, interesting fact about Hartlepool. Oh, go on. They hung a monkey here. They hung a monkey? They hung a monkey here. <laughs> Please tell me more. I don't exactly know when, so this is not really much of a fact, folks, because I don't really know the details. But what I do know is that there was a monkey in a uniform here, captured here for some reason, <laughs> and um, they tried to interrogate the monkey, but obviously it's a monkey, and they didn't understand the language it spoke, so they hung it. <laughs> I'm sure you've got this story <laughs> off of Ricky Gervais's <laughs> Carl Pilkington's monkey news. <laughs> now that is our whistle stop tour of Hartlepool. Um, trip advisor we are not, however it's a fleeting visit, so if you know more about Hartlepool please let us know down in the comments, tell us more about the place. Now we're heading to Stockton on Tees to Fridays. Oh I do like this Bruce, I, I, I'm, uh, when I rode the RR, whatever it was last year, I was like no, it's too much money, it's a bit flat, yeah. you know, there's, there's better naked, but this one since I've had the double R for the last year, I sort of straight fours have really grown on me a bit now. And uh, I could potentially see myself with this, I reckon. Could you? Yeah, I'm liking this, I really am. I couldn't spend 27k on the, on the double R, it's too much money. And also, obviously that double R had that Olin's electronic suspension, if you remember. Yeah. This has just got Marzocchi suspension, and it was a bit too firm, a bit too hard. Even though it was the Olin's 2, it didn't seem to go very soft. This is, seems perfect setup for the road, this. They don't feel as, uh, exactly as you said, as rigid as I remember the previous Augustas that I've ridden have been. They feel a little bit softer, not as snatchy on the throttle. A bit more, bit, bit more user-friendly, aren't they, I'd say. And they're lovely in town. Part of the, I mean, the, the throttles are aggressive, but they're not snatchy, they're just a bit aggressive, aren't they? And you have got a different mode. They are not in any shape or form motorway machines. <laughs> They're not too bad. It was horrific. <laughs> Torture mobiles. Sound glorious though. Is your 360 attached correctly? Uh, I take it off again, yeah. We don't want any more casualties today. Oh, I've no, already no. lost my Osmo pocket on the motorway out of the pocket. That's why it's got an Osmo pocket. It doesn't stay in your bloody pocket. It's shot straight out. <laughs> you, you've, you've smashed your I'll GoPro. Sma smashed my GoPro and knackered the media mod. So yeah, it's been a good morning. Today. It's been a good I lost my Insta360 last week on the double R, so it's uh, been an expensive bloody week or so. So we need loads of you watching these vids, please. <laughs> <laughs> Chat loads of adverts in Bruce, will you? Need about 700,000 views, please, to recuperate the cost. <laughs> the cost of our equipment we've broken making this. Oh, the airbox noise from this. I can, I can hear it. Hear it through the intercom. Hear it through the intercom. That's, yeah. that's, pre that's pretty good as well, isn't it? That, give that a bit of a wind on. You hear it? 
It sounds like a, a street triple on steroids. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's got that raspy. Yeah. National. Oh, ho, ho, national. Yeah, this comes alive at about 9k. These are some nice roads. Yeah, this is more like it, isn't it? Oh yeah, that handle's lovely. You've got to take them by the scruff of the neck, the MVs, and dominate them in the corners. That's what they like, they like dominating. You say that a little bit. There's, there's a lot of conviction when you say that. <laughs> Take it by the scruff of the neck and stop scruff it. Scruff of the neck, scruff of the head is. Poor old Mrs. Chops. Oh yes, beautiful. And into the dirty. Oh, that was a bit of fun though, I enjoyed that. That was nice, I like that a lot. Oh, it's just changes direction so fast. <laughs> God, it absolutely flies this. There you go, but let's do it the sixth gear roll on boost. Now let's get past these guys. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go. See, that's what I mean. Look at that, look at that. The extra punch you got in the triple. Uh, to be honest, I'd rolled off because I thought I might go into the back of this motor. It would have ended up in his boot. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot more, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Noticeably. Because it's 200 cc's less than uh, this. 20 to 2, we've only had one fish supper between us. Wasting away, we're wasting away. <laughs> Do you know what, this is taking us, it's taking us off to put us back on because there's a, a curve in the roundabout. Oh, is it? Awesome. Oh, well, at least we had, the, at least we had green lights. Yeah, with we, Cali Moto, it, it will do weird things like that at times. You know what I say, uh, a bad workman and all that. <laughs> right, half a mile. Half a mile we'll be tucking into our next portion. You do love a portion. I love a, love a portion. It should be just here. Fridays, there we go. Fridays, I see yeah. it. Go on, bud. Right, we made it to Fridays. Fancy some fish and chips? Two fish samples, please, sir. Fish samples, a bit earlier, samples. <laughs> What's it called, Monkey? Fish and chips. Just fish and yeah. chips. Yeah. We've just been out the pool. They call them half knots. Right, Gary, what is the story with the monkey hanging in half the pool? Is that true? Similarly, similarly, I found a monkey on the uh, on the stage side. I thought it was an earring or a space in the and the hangers. So now they get called monkey hangers. <laughs> when was it? Last week? <laughs> no, no, years and years and years ago, back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what they call monkey hangers for. Monkey allegedly. <laughs> We can always Google it. We've got a fish here, we've got a fish eat here, Bruce. We've <laughs> got a fish eat, fish eat. Oh, jeez. Look at those bad boys. I've not tried the new call yet. Have no. you? Have you had the new call, John? No. I fancy the Pikes Peak one they're doing. Oh, yeah. 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 The 17 inch front wheel. I'll get you dishing that. I'll get you dishing that. Beef dripping. Beef dripping. Beef. Mm -mm -mm. Streaming, streaming. <laughs> Fridays. Look at that beauty. Look at this. So then shops, what are we thinking? Fridays. Looks good. I like the, the shape of the fish. It's a little, little bit more aesthetically pleasing than the great big chunk of fish we had before. Isn't exactly. It? it looks yeah. like a fish. I could imagine where the tail was. Doesn't look overly soggy or anything. Looks no. quite crisp. Let's go and see it scientific. Chip first. Well, let's go. Let's go chips first. As we've got our own this time, we can yeah. tuck in together. Chips. That beef dripping, for me, beef dripping is the only way to do. Genuinely, chips. hands down, best yet. Yeah. It's Second one, but best Second one. Second one. The dripping makes a huge difference, yeah, it does. doesn't it? Mm. Those chips are good, aren't they? Bear in mind, these are cold because we've been faffing around ages. For you, for you. Fluffy, nice fluffy. Mm. Not not just completely soggy either, are they? They're nice. Yeah, really good. Aren't they, aren't they really good? They are, genuinely. The fish is good. It hold look, nice and chunky. Doesn't fall apart like the other one did. Yeah, you can actually pick it up. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other one was just in pieces, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's actually sturdy enough to... Let's go in. You tasted that fish? No, not yet. 
Oh. That batter. Mm, it's fluffy, light, isn't it? The batter is dry and crispy, the way I think batter should be. And the fish is so moist. Mm. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. And it holds it holds its form, but will flake as well if you pull it apart. That is. Mm. Let's just try the batter on its own. Mm. Oh yeah, that batter. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> Gary's a genius. Gary, I'm very glad this is good, mate. Yeah, it would be it would have been embarrassing if it wasn't. <laughs> That is the best so far. Absolutely, hands down. Chalk and cheese on it. Mm. If you're in this neck of the woods, Fridays, stocked in on teas, that's the place to come. Scores. Next. Oh yeah, scores, scores. 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 Okay. Chips first, chips first. They're good chips and they're, they're not too soggy, perfect consistency. I'm gonna go eight and a half on the chips. I'm gonna give them more. Um, hang on, just need to have another one to find out. Mm. What would make that a better chip? Hmm, <clears throat> good point. Hmm, don't know. I don't know, if you, I don't know if I could make that a better trip. <laughs> I'm going nine. We're going nine. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm going I'll nine. go eight and a half, but that is that is a close nine. Eight and three quarters. Okay, fish. It tastes like fish, mm -hmm. it's moist. It's still flaky somehow. Mm. It's nice. You can tell it's fresh, can't mm -hmm. you? You can tell that's fresh. That hasn't been frozen. That's a fresh bit. Of fish. I'm going nine. I think that's eight and a half for the fish. God, just hard getting anything out of you, isn't it? <laughs> what the Scots are supposed to be tight. <laughs> that batter is really good. It's nine again for me. Batter's a nine and a half. Nine and a half. It's a nine and a half for the batter. Wow, is He's got a. Per he's sort of vinegared that perfectly for me as mm. well. That's perfectly yep. seasoned. In the interests of being open. They've all been seasoned with mm. salt and vinegar, as you should. If you don't have salt and vinegar on fish and chips, you're a freak. Something wrong with you. Mm. Might just eat this and um, get a travel lodge for the night. <laughs> Touch myself whilst it's in my belly. <laughs> <laughs> it's too good to waste, though. I don't know if I can it waste too. it. No. I think I'm going to have to eat it because mm -hmm. it's just too nice. Tomorrow, so, I'll regret not eating it. I think in the next half an hour, I'm going to regret eating it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, we're going to demolish these. Join us when we do the Helmsley TT. Mm, looking forward to that. All right. Not as much off, as this. Off you go. Ta-ta. See you in a bit. <coughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Yes! Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Bruce, fishy facts. Where, where did fish and chips originate? Well, this is the thing. They, apparently... I should have read up on this on my phone. Cheers, Chops. Um, <laughs> apparently, there are two places that can test the origin of fish and chips. One is London, and the other one I think was Manchester. Is that right? Somewhere up, somewhere up north, anyway. 1860s, I believe. This wasn't it? It's the first recorded instance of fish and chips being put together and served together uh, and Bruce's rise it's for Jewish origins with the uh, the battered fish which is why they have the whole fish on a Friday thing oh, I didn't know that do you know roughly how many how many fish and chip shops are there oh, that was gonna that was gonna be my one that was gonna be my one to every <laughs> McDonald's in the UK oh how many compared to McDonald's I I'd say there's say that 8,000 fish and chip shops in the UK it's roughly around about eight fish and chip shops to every McDonald's restaurant in the UK. Really? Eight fish and chip shops for every one McDonald's restaurant? Yep. Look at this road though. Speaking of incredible, Bruce. This road's not bad, is it? It's pretty good. Oh, straight into Fatty again. That was nice. See, for a minute I thought the road went that way. Seymour. It wasn't until the 1920s when the rail networks were fully developed that they started moving a lot of fish and chip shops inland and you can still get fresh fish transported from the coast inland and uh, back then there was about 35,000 chippies I guess how many there are now, Bruce? How many? Oh, well, sorry, not now, but 2006. Come on, my stats are a bit old. Guess, guess how many chippies there were in 2005, and there was 35,000 in the 1920s. Four. 
<laughs> Close. <laughs> it, it's 10,000. 10,000 chippies. So. Oh, blimey. Yeah, well, it's probably even less than that now. Here's an interesting fish and chips fact, people. Unlike Chopsy's ones that will put you into a coma. <laughs> Do you know that during the Second World War, even Winston Churchill would not allow rationing of fish and chips because he thought it would cause such major civil discontent that he said fish and chips are the only food not to be rationed during the war. Bruce, that was my fishy fact number five you've just taken there. I think we've both been reading the same Wikipedia link. Nationals! Okay, should we review these bikes at some point? I think we should, mate. I think we should. Wheels have lent them to us for a reason, I think. <laughs> oh, is it wheels? Did wheels? Wheels yeah, motorcycles wheels, 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 yes. Wheels oh. motorcycles at Peterborough. Link down the, the wall. UMV dealer, did I not mention it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, OK, so this is the MV Augusta Brutale 800 RR. And what do I think of it? I tell you what, it comes alive on these B roads and even, you know, any road that's got a corner in it, to be honest with you. It comes alive. It has razor point handling. As Chopsy pointed out earlier, very similar to the Triumph Street Triple, actually. I mean, this is a triple engine. 140 odd brake. Do you know what the torque is on this? Uh, I don't actually, Bruce, no. I think it's fairly decent, is the answer. I'll put it um, on the screen now. A good dollop of torque. Oh, so far, folks. Motorways, I think I'd rather shoot myself in the face. But on the country twisties, feels lovely comes alive beautiful all right that's up that, my review done chops well i'm on the uh, brutale thousand rs now this is slightly different to the rr this is a four cylinder inline four inline fours are sometimes a little bit pants or naked because it they lack a bit of character lack a bit of mid-range somehow mv have sprinkled their magic character dust on this bike and it is bristling with it, bristling with character. 208 horsepower, Bruce. 208 horsepower. But it's all at the top, let's be honest. Straight fours, the power's at the top. But it makes decent progress. I'd say it had similar pull, or maybe not quite as much pull. The nickel one. That's my double R, but it's, it, I could live with it. I could live with the amount of pull it's got. This one, the, the RS only has the Marzocchi suspension, whereas the RR had the full Olin's electronic EC2 system. And as we mentioned, I think this is much more friendlier for the road. So I'm actually preferring, I think, the Marzocchi to the, the full Olin's, which made it really aggressive. I'm just going to interrupt. This is the start of the Helmsley TT. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. This is a bit of road and half, isn't it? Fight through it, you got to dominate it, Bruce. Dominate it. Dominate it. Bike swap. Sounding lovely when she screams. That's all the uh, serial killers say. Ten to four, Bruce. You've only had two fish supper. Beside the seaside, beside the sea. Are you uh, are you hungry? Not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> These have travelled on the MV from, uh, so I don't know what they're going to be like. How's your bottom doing now? Are you all right, Chops? You're getting a bit cold. Oh, I've got a load of logs on here, looks like something out of Final Destination. <laughs> I've lost the comms to Bruce now. Well, we've been on the road for 13 hours now. Wet your wang and get your gob around this. 